peoples of the interwebs. I hope everyone is well. I hope you all survive Snowmageddon if you live here in Lane County. I did barely. The only real way that me and my family did were because of uh, some people. Those people were my sister-in-law Lisa, my brother-in-law Michael, my brother Nate, my sister-in-law Danny. Uh, coincidentally, my brother has a YouTube channel. It's called Nate Pants One. It's a gaming channel. He plays all the kick-ass games he does check it out um i just totally lost what i was gonna say and i'm not starting this thing over again so what this video is about is we were staying out of people's houses obviously and i can't sleep at other people's houses i can't sleep at in hotel rooms you know some people can't shit places like i can't do that either but really, I can't sleep, and I always fall asleep with music on from somewhere else. I always have headphones in. And by what seemed like day 10,000 of freezing my ass off and smelling like a pile of dog shit, uh, which coincidentally is probably the closest thing to tour I'll ever get, which was like, you know, wearing the same clothes for multiple days, smelling like an ass, and, you know, being in a confined space with a bunch of other fucking people who kind of smell bad. Well,. I grew pretty sick and tired of the music that I had on my phone. So on a whim, I bought an album, and I listened to the first track, and I immediately went back and bought another album by the same band. I mean, right after the first track, I just went and was like, fuck, this is awesome, and bought the next album, or bought their second album. The band I'm talking about, Rivers of Nile. They are considered a tech death band, for my money, I'm saying more of a progressive band. The tech is in there, and we will talk about it uh, in a minute, but they are pretty proggy. Like, some of their songs, like, go to seven, eight minutes long. Um, this album is amazing. This is their third album, uh, and they're doing, like, this... They're doing a four-album concept. And I know, I know, somebody out there is like, Obscura did that. Yeah, Obscura did it, and I don't think anybody actually understands what the fucking concept is that they were trying to get across. Obscura is badass, and if you haven't heard of them, you should check them out. But these guys' concept is The Seasons. Their first album, uh, and I, I don't recall what the first album's called, uh, I apologize, but it is about, like, spring. The second album, uh, Monarchy, is about summer. And you hear that in that album. Like, that album sounds dry. It sounds... Not the instruments sound dry. The, the overall feel of it sounds that way. And this album right here has to do with fall or autumn. And once again, you feel that in this music. I mean, ultimately, like... To me, most technical death metal... It doesn't have a lot of feel. It's a pretty sterile genre, in my opinion. It's how fast can we play, how technically precise can we play, and that's kind of how how that genre is. And that's where these guys kind of really deviate from that for me. On the opening track of this of this album, which by the way the album is Where Owls Know My Name, there's a saxophone on it. And the saxophone reoccurs throughout the album, but it is it never overstays its its welcome. It never does. Um, if you were ever familiar with Pink Floyd, or if you're familiar with Pink Floyd, and you've heard some of the songs that where they use the sax, it, it, it's very reminiscent of that. It never stays too long, and it fits, and it fits so perfectly, and then it's gone. And at first, you know, I saw somebody doing a review on it, and they were like, you know, at first you don't even realize it's a saxophone you're hearing, and I would agree with that. Like, when it first comes in, you're like, what is it? And then you're like, holy shit, that's a saxophone. And it, it's, it's, it's rad. There's also a Mellotron on this album. And if you saw my uh, Influential Bands Part 1 about Opeth, you know that Aaron, uh, he loves himself some fucking Mellotron. That, that it's a killer instrument. But, I mean, for a death metal band, for a tech death band to use a Mellotron, come on. I mean... Musical boner. Yes. So now I guess we should talk about the band. The rest of it. The vocals, the drums, the bass, and the guitars. Uh, they are a, what are they? They're a five-piece five piece band. 
they've kind of had a revolving door from what I understand drummers and stuff and guitar player um, but the guys that they have on this album are fucking amazing a matter of fact as a guitar player you would suspect I would start with the guitars but I'm not I'm starting with the drums and the bass if you are a drummer and you are a fan of progressive metal, if you are a fan of death metal, if you're a fan of tech death, listen to this shit because this guy is fucking amazing. This is like, he is such a killer, killer drummer. Uh, they are kind of t weird time signatures, like, oh my god, it's just so fucking amazing. And the bass? Holy shit, the bass player. He can do the kind of Billy Sheehan type shit and he can do like play in the pocket he can do the Alex Webster shit where he's playing like a billion miles an hour with his fingers I mean it's oh my god the, this the rhythm section alone is better than most bands like just their drummer and their bass player and the singer the bass player does backup vocals but they have a singer and he holy crap like if you're familiar with death metal or black metal or any of the, the guttural singing genres of metal you know that most metal singers kind of have one standard sound that they use all the time uh, I'm gonna talk about Opeth again here for a minute my favorite guy Akerfeld I personally think he sounds like a demon from hell and I dig that but he really only has one one sound it sounds amazing but it's really only really one sound this guy? Fuck, dude. He does clean vocals. He does kind of some pig squeal kind of stuff on here. A little bit of black metal stuff in there. And his death metal growl is fucking amazing. They harmonize vocals. They harmonize the guttural. They harmonize the clean vocals. Him and the bass player. And it's fucking just boom. Boom. Like, boom. The guitars. These guys play seven strings. You can hear the seven string on there. I mean, it's, you can hear it. But the, these guys riff for fucking days. There's just like so many fucking epic riffs. There's a there's seven string on it, like I said. There's acoustic guitar on it. I mean, they cram it all in here, and it fucking works so well. There's so many layers to this music. I have literally listened to nothing else but these two albums since Thursday, and every listen that I give this album right here, I hear something different that I haven't heard in a previous listen. These guys are epic. Epic, epic, epic. And I know that word gets thrown around a lot and it gets overused a lot, I personally think, but for my money, these guys are fucking epic. Please, check them out. I mean, I don't know if Hopefully my excitement about this band is getting across here But I cannot say enough for River of Niles um, That's the band River of Niles the album is where owls know my name It's their third studio album and holy shit these guys Please check them out because these guys deserve to be at One of the tops of their genre. These guys are so fucking good like I said, I am blown away. I listen to a lot of music. I'm constantly looking for new bands. These guys, I have not had a musical experience like this in a very long time. Where this band fires on all cylinders. Holy shit. Do yourself a favor. Stream it. You got Spotify? Stream it. You got Apple Music? Download it. Listen to it. If you got Amazon, do it. If you're taking my word for it, then just buy the motherfucker. You will not be disappointed. If you like any of these genres of music I talk about, do yourself a favor and check these guys out. They are so fucking good. This album just oozes with emotion and with feel, which is also something that I feel lacks a lot from the genre. And guys, I can't say enough about this at all. I also... Uh, new favorite band and I've been Aaron guys this has been Rivers and Isles where owls know my name uh, do yourself a favor I can't say it enough pick up the album check it out peace